Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a legal entity in Microsoft Dynamics AX. In order to do this, we need um, Microsoft Dynamics AX client. So what we're going to do, I have a server where I have installed Microsoft Dynamics client and as well as uh, Microsoft Dynamics AOS server. So what we're going to do, go in that server. Here's my client. I'm going to right click and run as admin. All right, we, if you can see right now, we're in company DAT and we are in sys administration page. In order to create legal entity, you need to be in organization administration. So click on that. And once you click on that, you will see the setup and set up under organization, you will see legal entities. If you click on that, it'll show the current legal entities um, as well as it will give you option to create a new one. So we're gonna click on legal entities right now there's a uh, just one uh, company account data that's a legal entity we're gonna click on new and name it whatever uh, you're you're going to name I'm gonna go tech brothers company that should be three letters or two I'm gonna go uh, tech brothers so country region I'm gonna go USA I believe that's right you can um, click down um, down menu and choose USA right here so it was just USA not uh, that that's uh, probably the language so what we're gonna go ahead and click OK as you can see that it has created a legal entity now all you need to do is really fill in all the information uh, you can use uh, above menu up here you can use down here uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, click the language which is um, United States English uh, but uh, you can choose the language wherever your region is so you can click here the time zone and uh, all the information that regards to um, legal entity such as addresses, contact information, text registration, tax 199, tax information and all that kind of uh, uh, good stuff, banking information, whatever um, legal entity requires really in your region. So you need to put that information and after that you're gonna go ahead click file and save and then you can go ahead and close this and go back to legal entities and you can see that uh, this legal entity is in there and I hope it helps.